Let's talk amazing African music. I don't even want to waste your time with no intro because this is going to be amazing music. So let's not even do all the razzle dazzle. I know, a bit out of character, right? A bit outside of the box. But here we go. A phenomenal African diving in in three, two. All right, so let's get into it, man. African music and the amazingness, some amazing reissued labels that have been doing a really great justice for the vibe. Now, here's the thing. I can definitely do many various parts to this, so let me know if this will interest you along the corridors. And if uh, if what you're hearing or what, what I'm going to be showing you is something up your alley or something that you think you might like, uh, let me know if you want me to do a part two or part three to this, because I can definitely do that and I can definitely get into other countries within Africa even and get specific about it and do even some of those. So if you're interested in that, uh, definitely write this word down in the comments. <laughs> and I might be able to facilitate that. And you know what? Don't ask me about why I do this fabulous English voice that just comes out of me, the spirit that takes over. Um, it's just fun. I like to let loose. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, this is a kind of a bit of an obscure uh, band, a smaller band in the uh, Afrobeat kind of Afrofunk world. Uh, Fryman Music Company, also not just as the Fryman, but uh, Fryman Music Company. We can get on, get it on. Yeah, this is some good stuff, man. This is some really good stuff. I'll be doing a mix after to show you guys how tasty some of the stuff is. But um, this is a really great. If you if you guys are into think Afro meets Hendrix meets um, almost Congo-y. Uh, very uh, tasty, my friend. Very tasty. So definitely, if you're into this kind of stuff, it's a very, um, it's a very interesting band. Amazing '70s uh, Afro goodness that I'm so glad they got a uh, proper reissue from Europe because. Um, a lot of people would not have gotten uh, a proper go at this. It's so funny because their early label, uh, I'll show you here, some of their early stuff that they've reissued was on a label called Go Gay. What? They were Elton John before Elton John. <laughs> But anyway, uh, really cool guys, really funky stuff. I, I, I like their smiles. They, they tend to smile in their pictures, which is quite nice. Um, oftentimes I see very serious faces and it's nice to see that uh, some of these souls can really let loose sometimes and not just give you mug shots. So that's quite nice. Next record we're gonna talk about here is a act called please forgive me don't let me get Gwei Gwidu Blay Abole Ambole Man my my African friends are gonna kill me over this uh Abole Yeah okay so Abole what an interesting cat if you even just look at his picture he gives you screaming Jay Hawkins vibes, and he kind of does actually on his records. He's very free vocally, uh, definitely with the oh ah, you know. He gives you that that sensation that you definitely get off of that picture. So sometimes uh, judging a book by its cover makes sense in this case. Uh, he's very good. It, he's from Ghana, and uh, he actually got he was co-produced by. Thank you for the hype sticker, Mr. Bongo. We love you. It's it's very good stuff. It was co-produced by Ibo Ibo Taylor, who is a prominent figure in in the scene. And he's got some really good songs on here. The song Kwa Kwa is pretty good too. This hustling world. That's a killer one too. But um, yeah, that's it's a, these are these are solid contenders to fall under a list like this. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah. 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 This way. I cannot uh, not do an African video and, and not mention Pasta Lepe. What an amazing guy. Uh, he created his own genre, his own movement. He, he functified this whole thing. Cameroonian genius. Uh, well, 
where to begin? He started a genre called uh, Sekele Movement, the Sekele Movement. And it's really cool. He kind of mentioned, he blended uh, African and funk and soul and R&B and all that kind of stuff. And, and he really mixed it into this whole cocktail that really ended up being prolific for a solid decade. And then, you know, of course, he did his own thing and moved to Paris and became friends with people like Fela Kuti and all of that stuff. But honestly, this is a really killer stuff. Thing is about these records, I should preface, they are really expensive original probably not going to be interested in spending hundreds like four to five hundred dollars on one record uh when there are proper reissues that you can gently afford so probably go best go with that and i shall continue doing this without killing you without killing you but i'm keeping your i'm keeping your heart monitors in mind here <laughs> All right, guys, here's another really cool one, too. Rob's Rob. This is a solo, uh, self-titled, I should say. This is such a classic. Originals of this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. A lot of these are, again, I won't continue to say this. But, oh, it's so good. The one song, Funky Rob Way. Whoa! Uh, I gotta do my little Richard voice for that one. What? So good. Boogie on any funky Rob. Funky, funky, funky Rob way. The way it enters in, it just sucks you in. You know, it's so good. There's a reason why this is a crate digger delight, my dear. This is absolutely heart throbbingly good. This is just legendary stuff. He's got another classic record too, but I would definitely recommend the self-titled for anybody who doesn't know Rob, uh, but an, another amazing genius uh, Ghanaian classic of an album. So if you're wondering how to get these on a budget, really cool, nice sounds, all kinds of stuff on a compilation that really is doing it amazingly, honestly, the analog Africa stuff. The African Scream Contest stuff is amazing. It's a great way to start. Um, Analog Africa, this is uh, some really cool, heavy, tasty stuff from Benin at a really good time. And amazing stuff. Uh, yeah, it's just really cool, titillating. Uh, it's also got like a, a 24 page. By the way, you guys always ask me, are your records all sealed? No, I just like to keep the seal on it to maintain high premium performance uh but the shoot the uh, okay the book doesn't want to come out but there it is there's a cool book that comes with a bunch of really cool stuff too and um all kinds of different uh, other ones too some from angola and stuff like that really really cool afrobeat stuff and all that all that's a really really amazing stuff from analog africa as always and this is probably my favorite compilation that they did uh also titillating you've got and that's the that's the uh reissue label of course and the, also same thing here where they've got uh what's it called little bits of joy <laughs> is what i like to call it uh but they really fight eh? they really don't like to come out easy anyways they're in there bits of joy and you know some okay there you go so some on it it's on its sleeve you know it gives you some really fun stuff and all that stuff bits of joy bits of joy and love bits of joy and love so there you go if you uh really want to dive into some cool african that's really a good way to start if you are a beginner if you do know this stuff and do like this stuff well kudos to you you've got amazing taste and if you are curious to hear more i probably might do a mix let me know down in the comments below if you want to hear a mix from me i'd be glad to do it if you're interested type this word if you want to hear more too don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed because it's gonna help me a lot and it'll help me and it'll help you get the knowledge and me get the affirmation that this is all worth it and i'm not just talking to a wall <laughs> Anyway, guys, don't forget to uh, please talk in the comments down below. Let's see if you guys are interested in this stuff, like this stuff, know any of this stuff, if this even mattered to you. And, uh, hey, till we meet again, sweetie. Take care. Take care. Ooh, man, these, they don't know what they're about to get into, man. Anilag, Africa. Um, 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 um.